What we're going to be going over here is a long-term contract where we have a loss on this contract and this loss is going to make this contract unprofitable. And we'll start out here just looking at the per percentage of completion method here for uh, recording this contract. We'll also touch on the con completed contract method. So this is going to be our contract here. We're going to have a three-year contract with 20x1 here through 20x3. So what we're going to be looking at here is we're going to have a loss on this contract here in 20x2. But let's start out with uh, determining our profits here on this contract and we'll look starting with our year 20x1 here. So we'll start out with our contract price here. I'm showing it here as 3200 but our uh, number of figures are shown in thousands of dollars here so this would really be 3200000 but I'll just refer to it as 3200 So for our first year here 20x1 contract price 3200 The costs to date on the contract are 800 Estimated cost to completion here would be 1200 so our total cost estimated cost to complete here is 2000 here so compare that to our contract price of 3200 uh, the difference gives us a total estimated profit here of 1200 or 1 million two hundred thousand now we have to determine the percent complete on this contract using this percentage uh, complete method here so we take our cost to date here of 800 divided by our total costs here to date plus the estimated amount to complete here at 2000 uh, that's going to give us a percent completed to date here 40 percent on the contract so 40% of the total estimated profit here of uh, 1200 gives us total gross profit recognized here of 480 or 480,000. We didn't have any previous profit here since this is the first year here, so our total gross profit here for the current year is 480 or 480,000. Now we come along to year 20x2. Well, we have the same contract price here, but our cost to date here plus what we estimate on cost to complete the contract are no are now far greater than what we originally budgeted here. So this is where we're going to have our loss here in the contract. Originally we uh, budgeted here, so we're going to ha we're going to actually have a, a gain or some profit on the contract. But now we have the loss. So we our cost to date here was 1,650. Now our estimated cost to complete here is now 1,600. So our total costs here are 3,250. So compare that to our contract contract price of 3200 here we're going to have a 50 or 50,000 dollar loss so now what we have to deal with is this 50,000 dollar loss here and we aren't going to have to recognize that total loss here but we're also going to have to back out our profits from that previous year here of, of we had recognized here of 480 or 480,000 because now this contract is unprofitable but before we do that we have to comp uh, determine our percent completion here because we're going to need that for determining our revenues here so our cost to date, 16.50 divided by our total cost here, 32.50. That's going to give us 51% complete in our contract. But we're not going to be using that here to uh, portion out our total estimated loss here of 50. We recognize the total 50 or 50,000 uh, loss here, total 100% of it. And we also have to back out this uh, previous year that I mentioned here, 480 or 480,000, because our contract is now unprofitable and we wouldn't have, uh, we won't have any gross profit here in the first year of the contract. So total loss here, the 50,000 here for the current year, plus what we back out here for the gross profit of the uh, first year here 20x1 here 480,000 so our total loss is going to be 530 or 530,000 now we won't go into 20x3 here we'll just concentrate on year 20x2 and how we'd record that so our losses must be uh, must be recognized as soon as they're estimatable here. So we were able to estimate our cost up here, and based on that estimate here, plus what we had on our cost to date, we determined that our costs here on this contract were greater than the contract price or what we'd receive on this contract. So that's the loss here. Even though they're even when they're estimatable here, even though we didn't have uh, a firm numbers here on these on what our completion our estimated cost to complete here, we still have to recognize the loss here. So uh, as soon as they're estimatable here, the profit recognized here in 20x1, that 480,000 here, must be offset in the year 20x2 or the year that we have the unprofitable contract. Because this 480,000 here is no longer expected to be realized. So our 
total losses here are again the 480,000 here that we had for uh, recognized as gross profit in the previous year here 20x1 plus we our loss here for the current year here of 50,000 so total losses 530,000 here 530 okay so now let's go up and let's look at how we'd record these losses here so what we're going to have to deal with here when you're using these long-term uh, contracts here you have this construction and process inventory account here in your balance sheet and that's where you record your costs and any losses here and also your gross profit uh, for each of those years here so uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have to calculate our construction expenses here because what we've know what we're going to know here is our revenues here for the year that we have the loss here plus we're going to know what our loss is what we have to re uh, reduce our we're going to in and a loss in this case is going to reduce our construction and process inventory inventory account here and based on our what we know in our revenues and what our losses are that we're going to have to recognize as construction expenses and you'll see what we're looking at here when we're looking for this our calculating our construction expenses so going up here uh, looking at our construction cost expense here for 20x2 so we have the revenue here at 20x1 that was that 3200 or 3 million two hundred thousand dollar contract times uh, the difference here we recognized here 40 percent in the first year here our percent uh, complete here and then 51 percent complete in our second year here so the difference here 11 percent times the 3200 here is going to give us our revenue here in 20x2 of 352 or 352,000. now our total loss here in 20x2 that we have to recognize here that would be the reversal of a 20x1 profit here of 480 480,000 plus what we have estimated the loss here in the contract of 50,000 so our total loss here in 20x2 is 530 or 530,000. Add that to the revenue here we have a 352, 352,000. Our construction expense in 20x2 is 882,000. So this is simply this construction expense here you're going to see that that's simply a balancing entry between what we know for our revenues here and what we're going to recognize that as our loss here. So just looking at that in these terms let's first do it here for this second year here. So again the revenue that we recognize here credit or increase our revenue on our income statement here by 352,000 that's what we calculated up above here and then the loss here that's going to reduce our construction and process inventory account here 530,000 here 530 that was that loss here that was the total loss here in 20x1 so what we have is our construction expenses here in 20x2 simply that balancing amount here 882,000 so just looking at it in these terms we had a credit here of 352 a credit here and that was on our revenue a credit here in our construction account here 530 so our credits here uh, total will balance with our construction expense debit amount here on our income statement of 882 or 882,000 just remember uh, construction expenses here reduce our revenue and that's where we got the balancing and because uh, we had to come up uh, account for this loss here that's where we got our balancing amount here in the construction expenses okay so let's just go back here and just look at uh, what we would have recorded here in this construction in process inventory account so first for our costs here in year 20x1 that was the 800,000 or 800 here uh, for the first year our uh, costs here and then our gross profit we would have recognized that gross profit here for year 20x1 here of 480 or 480,000 and then our cost here for year uh, x2 that was simply the six one million six hundred fifty thousand uh, for a 20x2 and then eight hundred thousand for the first year here or 800 that was the cost to date so the difference here gives us 850 or 850,000 in our construction and process inventory account but now is where that loss come in remember we calculated that here that five hundred and thirty uh, thousand dollar loss here that was the reversal of the profit plus our uh, estimated loss on the contract here 530 and so what we've done here in essence is this gross profit that we had in our uh, on our construction and process account here 480 is reversed out here so the debit here of 480 is uh, reduced here by the credit amount here of 530 and also remember the 530 here includes that 50,000 
estimated loss on the contract here, 50000 So that's where we uh, eliminated here this gross profit here in 20x1 with the loss here that we have in 20x2. And what we do here, and then for our revenue account here in the income statement, remember the first year here was 40% of our contract price here, 3200 That was for 1280 here, and then that, remember that second year here, 40% uh, recognized in the first year, 51% complete in the second year, so that was at 11% here, 352 And then for our construction expenses here, we would have debited that here uh, on our for 800 here for 20x1, because those were our costs here. 20x1. But you can see how we got this 882 here. That was really what we knew what our revenue would be based on our percentage that we had our completion here and we knew what losses we had to record or reduce our reconstruction and process account by. So balancing entry goes to this construction expense here for 20x2. Okay so we've taken care of that here. So just remember here when you have these losses on these long-term contracts, you have to recognize the loss even on when it's estimatable here. You don't have, might have to no, you wouldn't have to have any concrete numbers here or solid numbers, but you have to have based on any estimates you have and any cost to date here. If those exceed what the contract price is, then you have to immediately recognize them here on a loss here. And in, by doing that here, that's based uh, reducing your construction and process inventory account here. And that includes the loss plus backing out any previous gross profit that you'd recognize because the contract is unprofitable. That is the total uh, 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 price or contract price, the amount that you're going to receive on the contract is less than the total cost on the contract. Or right, so you're going to have the loss. Okay, so let's go and let's touch on the completed contract method. Let's look at that. So completed contract method here, you're going to recognize the contract loss of fifty or fifty thousand here. Now the reason you're going to recognize only the fifty thousand dollar loss here is because with a completed contract you don't recognize any uh, percent uh, any percent uh, gross profit on the contract. The gross profit is only uh, recognized when the contract's complete. So we don't have to deal with the gross profit. We just have to real, uh, deal with that loss that we have on the contract. So uh, just simply, simply is this: you have a construction and process inventory account. Remember, there's no gross profit from the previous year here, or any gross profit until the contract's complete. And in this case, we wouldn't have any profit on it because our contract price is less than the total cost here in the contract. So we started out first year uh, year here we had our uh, costs here of 800 same as we had for the um, cons uh, same as we had for the percentage completion method here but then the loss here we only recognize the fifty thousand dollar loss here credit or reduce your construction and uh, process account here for fifty thousand or fifty here and then on your income statement this is where you recognize a loss here on the long-term contract so you actually recognize instead of any balancing amounts for construction and expenses or so here that we looked at the percentage of completion method you strictly go and you recognize the loss immediately here on your income statement on long-term contracts debit that here for fifty thousand here so credit your uh, reduce your construction and process inventory account here for fifty thousand and then recognize or increase your loss account here for fifty thousand and that's really looking at it in these terms here we have the contract price that's what we'd receive at the end of the contract here of uh, thirty two hundred and then our estimated loss here even though it's in the second year here not the end of the third year and things could uh, you have estimated cost here of thirty two hundred and fifty here uh, contract price 3200 so you'll have a loss here of 50000 Now, things could change drastically if we could uh, get our costs under control and then possibly that they under the completed contract method here, you would maybe squeak out some type of gain here if you could get your costs down here in that third year here. But in this case, we didn't. And we're showing the loss here in that year 20x2 here, our second year. Now, again, just to touch on our previous profits are not recognized under completed contract method. Therefore, they're not any offset is required as we did with the percentage of completion record, uh, method here. You just recognize the current loss only, and that was that current year's loss here of 50,000. Okay, so that'll take care of our 
dealing with these long-term contracts where we have a loss on an unprofitable contract. And just remember what we're, and let's move back up here again. Okay, what we're dealing with when we're talking about the loss on that uh, long-term contract, that is where the we have to back out those profits that we had here in the previous years here, and we have to back them out here by reducing our construction and process account. We had a credit here originally for that uh, the gross profit on that contract here, 480, and our debit here, excuse me, of 480, but we had to credit it out here by, well, 480,000 plus the loss on the contract. So when you're dealing with those long-term contracts, just remember here, in the minute you come up with that estimate here, and estimate based on what your cost to date are, and your estimate, if they're greater than the contract, contract price, then you have to immediately go and recognize the loss. Okay, so that'll take care of our uh, dealing with these unprofitable contracts. And we looked at both the percentage of completion method here and also the completed contract method.